Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we'll be painting up one of the tower assemblies from the Nickermund uh, Ash Waste box. So we're going to do a quick paint guide. Uh, get this thing knocked out in a day. And the color schemes used in this be able to knock out some of the other more advanced terrain here uh, that come in the pieces but are quite large and difficult to show on camera. But so to do this piece, used the following paints: uh, primed it Krylon Gray Gap Filler, so cheap and widely available. Used Army Painter Gunmetal Troll Claws, Matte Black Leather Brown and Oak Brown. I uh, used Games Workshop's Jokero Orange and the Nolan Oil Wash. And to finish off, used Vallejo German Camouflage Beige World War II. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this guy. Now to start my tower, I primed it Krylon Gray. This is their gap filler one, used for 3D printing, but it's really good on terrain. So we got the comms tower here, quite large. But we're going to start off with some Army Painter gun metal. And where's the right brush for this one? Ah. So here's a brush messed up, it's falling apart, but it's good for doing large blocks of terrain. And so we're just going to start putting this on here. Now, where I want to run it to is these little supports, and down to here will be the gunmetal. Then I'm going to run that up underneath these little railings up to here. Now I just don't want to do an all gunmetal statue. So basically you're gonna leave these plates alone. If I hit them with the gunmetal, it's no big deal. Then we'll just go right up the tower. To the satellite dish, which appears to be in the X-band. No. Maybe, I guess you could run C-band off that. All right, so just watch me block in a lot of this gunmetal here. Now you can see how far we got, so pretty much everything is gunmetal, um, except for these plates here, and part of the little stand here. So we're going to move on to this little stand, we're going to use some Army Painter Troll Claws. I'm going to start off with a fine brush, and that is because I'm going to cut around the metal. And then I'll switch to this brush and just slop it in there. One nice thick coat. And just keep going around. Now let's see we're in our second color in. So we got the troll claws there. Now we're gonna do these plates. For that, I'm gonna go to Citadel's Chocero Orange. And the reason is I like how this is a base paint, so it's really good at covering. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna take my fine tip brush here. And I'm just gonna cut in around the metal parts and then I'll switch to a bigger brush to block it in. This part won't actually take that long. 
I see how that's looking now, but it looks a little too clean here. So something I want to do, I can find the right color. Uh, I'm gonna get some matte black. And you can see there's a little cable right here. You see this will run so the cable will run here, and it goes down the column, hits the amplifier to the antenna. So we will make that black. to get this done before I gotta go watch Demon Slayer. Okay. Now, since I've gotta go watch Demon Slayer with my daughter, I get some null oil. This will allow some downtime to ensue. Got a wrong brush. Uh, something this used to be a nice, sharp, pointy brush, but it fell apart because I abused my brushes. And so I'm just gonna do just this column in non oil. And that will become clear when we go to the next stage Y. But a liberal application of this on here. All right, so we've got that nice, and neat. Well, of course we don't want it nice and neat. This looks appropriately weathered because of the known oil. But the idea I'm going through uh, with this is that this is going to be dirty down here and very dirty and it'll get lighter and lighter up till around here. So the way I'm going to execute that is I'm going to take some Army Painter Leather Brown and show you how I'm going to mix this up. So Gonna squeeze a healthy dollop in there. I've got a brush that I've messed up. I remember that's what we applied the uh, gun metal with. So I'm gonna take the back of the brush and I'm just gonna add drops of water here. And stir it up. A nice soupy mix. And I pull it up. Yep. So I want it by pulling it up here, this you get an idea of how translucent you want it to be. I don't want it too translucent. So what I'm gonna do is take this, get a nice thick application. And I'll keep pushing this around even as it dries. And this will be nice and thick on the bottom here. Now where it will be thin, it's more up around the top. So I'm going to push it around a little more, just a hint. The idea is that there would be more uh, sand and dust blowing around at the bottom than at the top. But remember, you can flavor to taste. All right, so we're gonna go finish this up. Oh, what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna just push it up a little bit, top there, get it like a little blending zone of where I'd say the blown sand mixes with the aging of the null oil. Okay. So oh, like I said, flavor to taste. Yeah, it took a while for that guy to dry, but it's worth it. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take some Army Painter Oak Brown, and we're gonna take one of these little fuzzy things here, and I've poured, and so, so foam, that's what it's called, foam. And we'll start catching some of them. 
So this is the same thing we want to flavor to taste here. Just a little uh, brown there to look like a little bit of corrosion. Like that. We'll just keep going around this. So you can see here, model's looking really good right now. Like the distressed look there. You can also add a little metal in there. Some of the gunmetal again, get some scrape lines going if you want. Now what I'm going to do is uh, to tie it all together, I'm going to take some Vallejo German Camouflage Beige World War II. That's just, and this is a giant, well, what size is it? This is the medium dry brush. So I get a little bit here, get a little paper towel off the side here. And this is what, all right, so you can see. So remember, we took the leather brown and we faded it up there. But you gotta imagine there's still dust rolling around. So this is what we're gonna do to tie in the whole structure together. Or you can go to like a grocery store, get a cheap makeup brush. No, that's really popular. Okay. if I actually kept it in frame. All right, and now we're gonna call that a day on our little structure. You might risk getting carried away with this. <laughs> All right. So let's see what it looks like with our little sand people there. Looks good. Well, you know what? Thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.